A viewer asked if I could check out Kavita, a self-hosted, open-source digital library server designed for managing and reading comics, manga, and ebooks on various devices. Like Audio Bookshelf for audiobooks and podcasts, Kavita enables you to privately host your own collection of media without needing to sign up for a third-party service or a subscription. The world of online comics and e-readers is new to me, but I see the appeal of swapping paid subscriptions for hosting your own content on your NAS for free. Just like hosting your own private media server for movies and TV shows, the ultimate goal is to host your own comic book content on storage separate to your e-reader or mobile device, especially if you have multiple gigabytes of content. Popular paid comic book and manga sites like Marvel Unlimited and Viz.com are DRM protected. Your purchases are unavailable to add to a private library. However, there are a number of other sources you can use to download and build your own private library. Outlets like Humble Bundle and 2000 AD offer DRM-free downloads that you can save and host on your personal storage. I've included a list of different sources here. The very first step is to download and install Docker if you don't already have it installed on your Ugreen NAS using UGOS, either via browser or the official UGOS app on your computer. As discovered in my previous video, Docker is a program that enables you to manage different applications on your Ugreen NAS. Docker can be thought of as an application platform with its own marketplace for installable programs, known as containers. These containers are self-contained units designed to execute specific tasks. A container is established using a blueprint known as an image or updating a YAML code template. This process is essential for creating the Kavita server container, which facilitates connecting the Kavita web interface and app to your NAS. Just like Jellyfin Image and Audio Bookshelf, you need to prepare your NAS for hosting all the files and telling your Kavita clients where to find your content. This information explains to the Kavita server and the client where to find the necessary files. The first step is to create folders on your NAS to store your comic book files and configuration files to organize your library. Navigate to your shared folder on your NAS using either the Ugreen UGOS app or web interface. Create a master folder called Kavita within the Docker folder. It doesn't have to reside in the Docker folder, but as I've discovered over time, it's just good housekeeping practice. Inside this folder, create folders called config and data. Next, you'll want to create individual folders for your content type, such as comics, manga, ebooks, etc. In my example, I've created one called comics. Within the comics folder, you'll want to create folders for each series of comics. In my example, I have a copy of Red Hood and an issue of 2000 AD. Next, copy the Docker Compose. This is the set of instructions your Ugreen NAS requires to build a media server. The template for the Docker Compose is available in the description. To match your personal storage directories, you will need to replace the placeholder information for the directories, but maintain the string after the colon. Plus, you'll need to create a directory for your new comics folder using the same format as the config and data folders. Kavita uses metadata and not folder structure to determine what is a series and what belongs in each series. Kavita does require that each series be in its own folder though, and that no files are at the root level of the library. However, comic book collections can get pretty sophisticated, and Kavita's wiki pages give detailed advice on how to manage your storage. You also need to set your local time zone. You can use the link in the description to find yours. Next, open Docker on your NAS in UGOS. Then, navigate to Project and then click on Create. Name the container Kavita in lowercase, the storage path will automatically populate. Next, copy the entire YAML text and paste it into the field next to the number 1. Finally, click Deploy. It'll take a few minutes to start and then you can click OK when the server is up and running. 
To create a Kavita account, you'll need to open a web browser on your device, connected to the same network as your NAS. Add your NAS's IP address followed by the port number you exposed in the Docker Compose file. For this configuration, this would be your NAS IP address with the port number 5000. First, you need to register an admin account. The first time you access this URL, Kavita will present you with a registration page. This is where you create your initial admin user. You'll need to enter a username, email address and password. Next, complete the registration. Fill out the fields and click on the register button. This will create the first account, which is full administrative privileges. After registration is complete, you'll then be directed to a login page. Use the username and password you just created to log in and start configuring your libraries. The next step is to connect Kavita to your libraries on your NAS. In the main user interface, click on the settings icon at the top right. Next, click on libraries under server on the left hand side. Now click on add library. In my example, I'll be adding my comics folder to Kavita from my NAS. Give the library a name like comics. Under type, you can choose the category from the dropdown. Click next. Now you'll browse for your folder on your NAS. It's worth noting that the folder will be called slash comics. Now click share. Click next. Here you can add an icon to represent your library if you wish. Click next and you'll be taken to the advanced settings. You can make changes as you see fit, but otherwise leave the settings as default and click save. Now there's a really important step before you'll see your comics appear in Kavita, and that's organizing your content into folders by series or title. In my example, I needed to create an individual folder for the three comics I have, Red Hood, 2000 AD, and X-Men. On your NAS, go to your comics folder and now create folders that you require. Then upload the comics into those folders. After you've done this step, you'll see your comics in the main Kavita interface. You can click on the three dots by your library and choose Scan Library if your comics don't appear automatically. Unlike similar services like Image and Audio Bookshelf, you can't use the client on mobile or web to upload your comic book files. You'll have to save them directly to your NAS, either using the NAS web interface, the official Ugreen app or desktop, or Windows 11 if you've enabled your NAS to be visible via Windows Explorer. Check out my video for setting up your NAS to be visible via Windows Explorer. While Kavita lacks an official mobile app, several third-party applications offer compatibility. For iOS users, panels and paperback are popular choices. Android users can consider community recommended apps such as Kavita Blue and C Display X. I actually found that C Display X is the easiest to connect to my NAS. There's a dedicated option to connect Kavita within the settings, where you log in with your credentials. To connect a third-party mobile app to your Kavita server, you need to provide the app with the server's network address from your Kavita user account. Just like other NAS servers I've explained in my other videos, by default you'll only be able to connect to your server if you're on the same network in your home or office. You won't be able to connect remotely when away from your network without some additional configuration, like using a VPN like Tailscale. Check out my previous video that shows you how to set up Tailscale and use Tailscale IP addresses for remote access. Thank you for watching and as always it would be great if you were to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.